So for those of you who may not know, or for those outside of the UK, today was the 10th and the last day of state-mandated mourning for the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, 10 days ago, our sleeper agent, Liz Truss, completed her mission, Operation Tower Bridge, to bring down the 96-year-old monarch, and today was the funeral, so hopefully things can start getting back to normal for now. However, there was another funeral over the past few days that we want to quickly draw attention to. And that was the funeral of Bernard Cribbins, who passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago. You remember Bernard Cribbins as being in the Dalek Invasion of Earth 2150 AD, and also playing Wilford Mott in the revival of Doctor Who between Series 3 and the 2009 specials. Uh, James Hogg uh, posted this image uh, that was from the funeral, which was last Wednesday, the 14th of September at noon at Woking Crematorium. What a suitably special send-off, right, said Fred was playing as we entered the chapel and hole in the ground what else was playing as we left beautiful tributes from david tennant and Catherine tate as well as bernard's dear friend molly hawkyard even the sun shone so uh, life still goes on and people were still able to find time uh, to have a uh, what seems to be a wonderful service for bernard cribbins who passed away uh, on the 27th of july so rest in power, Bernard, says the Doctor 64. Thank you so much. Rest in peace, Bernard Cribbins. Uh, and thank you to those who checked out my tribute video to uh, him as well um, at the end of July. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Tom Mason, well, have you heard his new audio book about his life? He reads the book. I didn't know he had one. That would have been, really, yeah, that, that'd be really cool to listen to. I'll check that out at some point. So speaking of uh, going back into the past, uh, we have a new announcement of the next Doctor Who Chronicles issue. These are really terrific, big, beefy, magazines uh, done by Panini through Doctor Who magazine which chronicle a single year in the history of Doctor Who. They've done some really terrific ones, uh, including 2007, there was 1965, there was 1975, uh, a few others. Really, really good stuff. And this one is coming out on the 6th of October, 2022, is available to pre-order on the Panini website now. Rowan Crump, I wasn't able to get the 1967 one. Uh, I wasn't able to get the 1983 one. I think that was, but I was able to get it on eBay eBay is your best bet. Uh, it, it might be at a slightly um, increased price, but nothing too major. But yeah, you can pre-order this now. Uh, Doctor Who magazine actually announced this uh, in their latest issue, but on the day the issue came out, it wasn't available to pre-order yet. The Doctor Who magazine kind of maybe uh, jumped the gun or maybe Panini was just a little bit slow. Um, but yeah, so Chronicles at 1973. This is the, uh, the John Pertwee season going from... The five, the three doctors, sorry, there wasn't even five of them, going from the three doctors up until the Green Death. This is season 10, which is on the collection set. Uh, so you can pre order this now on the Panini website. Next up, we got in the announcement that Doctor Who Am I, the, uh, the, uh, the documentary, which is coming out uh, in a couple of weeks' time in cinemas, is getting a DVD release on the 7th of November. Uh, I'm showing the Zavi version of this, uh, even though Amazon is selling it for cheaper, but I'm, I'm showing the Zavi version. I've got an affiliate link and a coupon code and everything in the description below if you are so inclined. It, that Only get it through Zavi with the affiliate link if you want to directly support the channel and not save anything. Other retailers are selling this DVD pre-order for cheaper. I'm just going to throw that out there now just for the sake of pure transparency. This is the documentary which goes into the making of the 1996 TV movie. There's even a trailer out on YouTube. You can watch the trailer. That seems fun. Or oh, Freddie says that the Amazon price has gone up to $15.99, by the way. Oh, that's annoying, because it was originally like $9.99 on Amazon. And if you pre-ordered it then, it would have stayed at $9.99. But if it's gone up to $59, yeah, get on Zavi. Use my affiliate link. Do it. <laughs> Do it, you, you gits. Nah, I love you, really. Infamous Doctor Who screenwriter Matthew Jacobs is reluctantly dragged back into the American universe to face the fandom that rejected his work 25 years ago. The trailer looks really, really cool. Uh, it got the, an official selection at the Toronto International Film Festival and Melbourne International Film Festival, uh, getting really good reviews. This gets a theatrical release in middle of October. However, it's coming out on DVD and only on DVD. There's no Blu-ray, no Steelbook. Grr, my prediction's gone uh, on the 7th of November, 2022. Now, interestingly, one of the longest running jokes in Doctor Who fandom is the fact that season 10 or series 10, the 12th Doctor series with Nardole and Bill, has not had a soundtrack release. Well, this past week, we can now confirm that it still hasn't got one and that season 13, the Flux soundtrack, is going to be the next one that is getting released. Now, Revolution of the Daleks did have a digital only release, but it will be getting a disc on this set as well. So if you are somebody 
somebody who wants the CDs, you'll finally have Revolution of the Daleks. Uh, Silver Screen Records has announced a new soundtrack album, album for BBC series Doctor Who. The album features selections of the original music from the show's 13th season entitled Flux, composed by Sagan Akinola. So, Volume 1. Um, we've got the track listings here. Volume 1. Uh, volume 2 and there will be a bonus disc which does have everything from Revolution of the Daleks yeah Silver Screen Records have got a tweet of it here Doctor Flux hotly anticipated series 13 and you've got the discs here you've got uh, Azure on this disc you've got the Weeping Angel there and on this disc is the, is the Revolution of the Daleks so this is what the discs and everything the packaging looks like looks really cool uh, the digital release for this is coming out on September 30th and the triple CD is coming out on November the 11th um, it's finally happened folks we actually have Russell T Davis 2 era news at around the same time we're getting centenary special news we actually know who is going to be replacing Ray Holman as Doctor Who's costume designer Ray Holman has been the uh, costume designer throughout the entirety of the Chibnall 13th Doctor era designing the 13th Doctor's costume the Fugitive Doctor's costume Sasha Dewan's costume etc uh, Ray Holman has done a terrific job over the past few years, but he is now passing the torch to Pam Down. Uh, this has um, been written on Blog to Who, but they did find out through Pam Down's CV. We've known for the last few months that next month's final episode for Jodie Whittaker would also be Ray Holman's last episode uh, as Doctor's costume designer, but who could succeed the man responsible for over five series? We finally have the answer. According to our online CV, Pam Down will be taking over the role for the 60th anniversary and for series 14. Down is a respected costume designer of almost 30 years experience. One of her early projects, in fact, was Neil Gaiman's fantasy series Neverwhere in 1996, set in the eerie parallel, wo uh, parallel wonderland of London below. It saw Down devise looks for Patterson Joseph's Doctor Ishmarky to cabarets as well as peter capaldi's um angel islington uh so yeah there's patterson joseph there um if you remember him he is from uh bad wolf and the parting of the ways you know is anyone listening where's my money that guy that dude um also he's done um also she's done bone kickers the enfield haunting the trial of christine keeler the spanish princess um etc etc we've already seen her designs uh, on location we've seen what um she's going to be doing for who we presume is the toy maker or whoever neil patrick harris is playing and we've also seen the um costumes for the upcoming uh, um 14th 10th doctor whatever is going on there uh, so yeah ray holman is going to be bowing out after the centenary special and is going to be replaced by pam down looking forward to seeing all the work that she does there and finally, some Big Finish news, uh, because Big Finish have been taking part in the uh, the state-mandated morning. They've not actually been dropping any news on their social media or releasing any newsletters, but they have been updating the website. And we don't even have the 11th Doctor Chronicles upcoming set, Geronimo, like, out yet, but they are still dropping information for the second instalment, All of Time and Space. We've got a cover there, and we've also got uh, the companion on the cover there as well, who's meant to be like an augmented bionic human uh, played by Safia Ingar so for Geronimo we've got details of the three stories The Inheritance by Alfie Shaw The House of Masks by Georgie Cook and The End by Roshana Patel and we have titles for these uh, the upcoming sequel box set coming out in February 2023 All of Time and Space by Ellery Quest The Yearn by Angus uh, Dolkan and Curiosity Shop by James Goss these are box sets with Jacob Dudman voicing the 11th Doctor who does an incredible impression and jacob dudman is going to be playing the 11th uh, incarnation of the doctor during that gap between the snowmen and the bells of saint john where he's looking for the woman twice dead looking for the impossible girl uh, clara so we don't really know much more beyond those we do have a trailer as well for geronimo though and that drops in october that drops next month so yeah that's all of the other tangential doctor who news that broke over the past week or so or at least those are the big ones so yeah there's a lot to look forward to in the coming months uh, and hopefully once the uh, the centenary is out of the way uh, there'll be more information incoming for the rusty davis 2 era